wow, it's planning out our home buyer seminar. The power that we have with this is absolutely incredible. Microsoft just invested $10 billion into OpenAI just last month. But today's session is on chat GPT for realtors. So we're going to take a deep dive into chat GPT. I'm Aaron Lacey. I am a psychology driven digital marketing coach for real estate. And I could not be more excited and pleased that you've joined me today to take your business to the next level, but really more than anything to understand what this technology is and find out how you can start to use this in your business. I want to make sure that everybody leaves today's session with clarity on what this opportunity is and how to use it. That's the name of the game today. What is chat GPT? How can I use it in my business? That's what this is all about. You guys will AI end the world. That's what everyone wants to know. We've got a lot to share today. This is chat GPT for realtors. I'm Aaron Lacey. And I asked chat GPT, who are you? And chat GPT said, it had no idea. So just so you know, I'm a real estate agent. I have my real estate broker's license in Arizona. I've been a real estate agent for almost 20 years, had my broker's license for almost 17 years. I've been everything in between from new agent who was riding the peaks and valleys of real estate to a team lead, to a brokerage lead, to having multiple branch offices. So I've been in a lot of different facets of the business, but for me, I'm a technologist. I'm a psychology driven marketing technologist, a business strategist. I grew up going to school with my mom every morning. She was in elementary school teacher and I would go to her classroom as a young child, a five, six, seven year old. And I would play on her computer at school. This is in the mid eighties. And uh, before computers were a household object. So I feel like I'm qualified to help explain this topic to you today. So you may have seen me, you may have heard of me. If you haven't, then it's absolutely my pleasure to meet you. I am again, a psychology driven digital marketing coach for real estate. I'm an Inman contributing author and Inman ambassador. I'm an NAR certified technology instructor, one of just a handful in the country. And my role as a marketing technologist, specifically real estate coach, in essence, is to help you do more, help you do better because I was raised by people in real estate. My mom was a real estate agent before she became a school teacher and she failed out of the business. And I like to say that it was because she didn't have someone like me in her corner, but it's also because real estate is not easy. It's not glamorous, especially the way that it's perceived on TV. I help agents. I help teams. I help brokerages. I help associations with training, with coaching. If you want to get in touch with me, reach out to the person that invited you to this and they'll make that connection. Okay. All right, you guys. And just so you know, I'm part of a national marketing technology team. This is my squad right here. There's 16 of us and we cover every aspect of this country and every aspect of this business. And a lot of us have deep roots in real estate and have sat in your shoes and we understand what you're going through. So here we are today's objectives. What you should use or why you should use chat GPT, ways to use it now, how to craft the perfect prompt and what is a prompt and then what's next. Okay. So that's what we're going to cover those objectives. Okay. Specifically though, ways to use it right now. And with anything, I start every training by simply saying, observe and not, and don't compare. Just observe this information today. I know for some of you, we range in age, we range in experience, we range in background, but for you, if you embody the idea of a growth mindset, an opportunity mindset, an abundance mindset, you're going to open yourself up to the possibilities, the opportunities that exist here, right? But if you are watching this today with a fixed mindset, that's a mindset of scarcity, then you're going to resist this information and you're not going to fully receive it. So here's what I would do. I encourage you to receive this and think about and check in with where your mindset's at right now. And I would highly encourage you to consider the mindset of growth of, I like to try new things versus I stick to what I know. You guys, this is, and I meet with a lot of agents. I've met with over 10,000 agents in the last 12 years. And I can tell you this, a lot of us are closed-minded. And the reason for that is because we're humans. We're adverse to change because that's a human trait. So I would say for you again, 
Just keep an open mind to this opportunity, to this possibility. Let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Here's what I wanted to start with. I asked ChatGPT, explain AI and ChatGPT to me as if I were a five-year-old. And I just want to set the foundation for today's session. It said, AI is a type of computer that can do things that normally only people can do, like talking to you and understanding what you're saying. Just like you can learn new things by playing and talking to people, AI can also learn new things by looking at lots and lots of information. And of course, AI stands for artificial intelligence, right? And chat GPT is a form of AI. It's a special kind, a special software program that's really good at talking to people. It knows how to answer questions and have conversations with you, just like you do with your friends. When you ask chat GPT a question, it uses its brain to think of the best answer and then it tells it to you. And the more people talk to chat GPT, the better it gets at having conversations. Okay? It's constantly learning, which is that whole premise of we've seen these movies, right? Where the AI is listening, it's learning and it gets smarter than us and it wants to try to hurt us, right? And we've probably seen some of those new he news headlines recently in the last week or two where Bing, that's the search engine that's very similar to Google, where some people were asking the Bing, asking Bing, the, Bing AI specifically, some questions and taking a deep dive and the responses were pretty interesting. So if you haven't, if you're not caught up to speed on that's pretty entertaining, but here we are on chat GBT. This is what it looks like. And we're going to dive in. But before we do that, I want to share a few more headlines for you. Just to again, set the stage. Yahoo finance recently wrote an article that said that researchers just tested chat GPT on the same test questions as aspiring doctors and found the AI was comfortably within passing range to become a doctor. Chat GPT is passing the tests required for medical licenses and business degrees. And in fact, you'll see the sub headline here says, GPT would have received a B to B minus on a NBA Wharton final exam. Pretty interesting. And then this article came out recently, Head educators battle plagiarism as 89% of students admit to using OpenAI's chat GPT for homework. Okay. And quickly for you, if this is your first exposure to chat GPT or you're not super familiar with what it is, in essence, it is a software program that was created by a company called OpenAI back in 2018. Why are we only hearing about it now? We're hearing about it now because in November of 2022, just last year, they came out with the third version. And the third version, they opened up to what they call a public beta. And that's where we are able to then log in for free and use this system. Okay. So we're now in the third version of the chat GPT. Okay, again, created by this company that was event was at the start, a nonprofit. Now it's a for-profit company. And what happened is this company, OpenAI, it took a snapshot of the entire internet. Hundreds of billions of words, conversations, articles, texts. In essence, it took all of humanity that we've logged and shared online, and it combined it with the software that allows us to now interface with everything that exists. David asked, is this a website, not an app? That's correct. And in fact, the company that created ChatGPT has never created an app. So if you go to the app store and you search for ChatGPT, you're going to see a lot of apps there. None of those are the official ChatGPT app because they don't have one yet. So those are just other people, other companies creating apps for this platform. It's only internet browser based right now. Okay. All right, you guys. So when you ask it a question, it looks at all the information it knows that was loaded into it to provide the response. And again, that response is the snapshot of the internet through 2021. It's important to know that because it only is aware of what happened into 2021. It's not aware of 2022 or 2023. Okay. All right, you guys. Okay. So this is part two. So we're going to take a deep dive here. Real estate agents say they can't imagine working without chat GPT now. Ryan Sirhan says that it eliminates approximately 60% of tasks that agents used to have to do on their own. They don't have to write listing descriptions or difficult emails to sellers anymore. 
But he did also say, it seems like what still shines through and becomes even more critical is voice and personality. So guys, let's go ahead and dive in. Here's the 12 ways we're going to take a deep dive today into chat GPT, and we're going to cover all 12. Okay. Social media posts, blog writing, YouTube video scripts, property listing descriptions, prospecting strategies, even campaigns. I'm going to share with you a really neat campaign idea, short form videos, paid ads, emails, text follow-up, phone scripts, reviews, and even languages, okay? The system recognizes 95 natural languages. You can turn anything into another language with, they're saying around a 95 to 98% accuracy, okay? So here's the deal, you guys. I'm gonna cover all 12 of these. So what I'd like for you to do is, if you want to play along, maybe you've got chat GPT open in another window, by all means, go for it. Otherwise, let's just work through this today and I will make this replay available for you specifically on, on YouTube within the next 24 hours. So you will have it. You'll be able to go through this. Okay. So here's how we get to chat GPT. We go to chat.openai.com. Okay. Or we can simply search on Google for chat GPT. That's going to get us access. Okay. Now, if you go to chat GPT, you're going to have to register to use it. Okay. It's free to use because there's this publicly available demo. If you see a screen that looks something like this, chat GPT is at capacity right now, then you just hit refresh and hit refresh. Now, if you want, you can pay for a preferred access and that will get you access to it every time you go to chat GPT. And that is subscription for $20 a month. And that's what actually what I have and what I'm going to use today is the subscription version because I can't risk pulling up chat GPT and not being able to use it on this webinar today. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and launch that right now. And so here we go. Okay. And before we get in, couple just a couple other things to make you aware. There is an AI directory available at futurepedia.io. Over a thousand different AI tools in here, including chat GPT. Okay. And every time you type into chat GPT, here it is right here. Here we are at chat GPT. You're writing a, what's called a prompt. Okay. And again, you guys, if you're trying to log on to chat GPT right now and it's not letting you in, it's very likely that it's just the server's overloaded. That's a constant challenge. In fact, there are chat GPTs handling millions of requests every second right now. So it's absolutely inundated, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna write some prompts, right? Covering those 12 different topics I mentioned before. For you, if you're curious about the whole concept of prompts, there's actually another directory of and a marketplace of prompts. And essentially a prompt is the same thing as you type, if you were to search for something in Google, you would type in some keywords or a phrase into Google. That's the prompt to Google. Same thing with ChatGPT. If you go to promptbase.com, in fact, there are people that are now, you can find prompts that are even selling prompts on for ChatGPT. In fact, Here's a GPT-3 all-in-one marketing prompt. And again, it's going to give you everything you need to type into chat GPT to get access to this information. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into chat GPT. And I want to start off, we're going to start off with something right at the beginning, fairly basic. We're going to cover social media posting. Okay, that was our first topic, social media posting. Okay, so... Our first prompt, again, we're going to type right into the box here at the bottom. And I'm going to copy and paste because I already have these prompts created on my end. So first thing I'm going to write is, what real estate information should I share on my social media today as a real estate agent? And I'm going to hit enter. And now this system, using the knowledge of that snapshot of the internet through 2021, hundreds of billions of pieces of information, conversations, chats, websites, web pages, now 
analyzes my question or my prompt, and it, it responds with this result or this answer. Okay, and says as a real estate agent, there are many different types of real estate information that you could share on your social media platform. Here are some ideas to get you started. Number one, share new listing. Two, share information about the local real estate market. Three, share information about the home buying selling process. Four, share testimonials. Five, share industry news. Six, share information about upcoming events. Okay. And that's just us getting started. <clears throat> okay. So we now have a couple of different options. We could continue to ask it different questions on different topics and subjects, or we can take a deep dive into what it just responded with, or we can even, do you guys see this button here, regenerate response? We can even click here and we can say, hey, chat GPT, will you reply to my question with different information? So if I click on regenerate response, it's now going to generate a different answer for me. And I can continue doing that as long as I want. And each answer will be different. Okay, if you're looking again for new ideas. So here are some of the things that I wanna make sure we're all really clear with. Number one is what can we type in here to get a response? Okay, so again, this is me asking as a real estate agent, what should I post on social media? And you'll notice it return the answer. You'll also notice that on the left side, it named my prompt or named my search and it actually records a history of each time I add or create a new chat. So I can actually go back into the history of other chats, other times that I have prompted chat GBT, and it's going to share with me the history that I've had. And I can then continue that conversation from wherever I left off. So let's get back over here. Let's go ahead and say, okay, we're on the topic again of social media posting. Which one of these social media posts would be the most valuable to share? And in fact, I'm going to actually go ahead and just ask ChatGPT that. Which of these would be the most, would be the best to share? Or it would be the most beneficial to share in growing my social media brand? The most beneficial type of content to share on social media for growing your real estate brand will depend on your specific goals and target audience. With that said, here are a few types of content, okay? Now, it didn't necessarily answer my question because I'm gonna stop generating. I asked it which of these would be the most beneficial and it just started listing out some beneficial types of content to share. So you always wanna keep an eye on if it specifically is answering your question, right? But again, this isn't a final product. This is a starting point. This is a starting point for you in this specific instance in creating social media content. So the most beneficial types of content, it's getting into that. Here's what I wanna dive into you guys. I'm gonna go back and say, what should I post to Instagram, for example, to cause home buyers in or to cause people searching for homes in Scottsdale, Arizona to want to contact me. So now it's going to respond to that question, okay? As if a real estate coach would respond to that question, as if a social media coach would potentially respond to that question, right? So it's going to discuss things like showcasing your listings. It's even recommending hashtags, Scottsdale Real Estate, Scottsdale Homes for Sale, Scottsdale li Living. It's saying, why don't you highlight the Scottsdale lifestyle? right? Show this lifestyle that comes with living in Scottsdale. 
share images of local attractions such as McDowell Sonoran Preserve, Old Town Scottsdale, the TPC golf course. And by the way, for those that aren't familiar with Scottsdale, those are all areas that are really popular in the Scottsdale market. How does ChatGPT know that? Because it took a snapshot of the internet and it then can use that in context to the prompt that we gave it, okay? Share helpful tips and advice. Engage with your audience. Here's what I would say. We can even take this a step further, you guys, and then I'm gonna get into some of the other topics, but we could say, using option number two, can you script out an Instagram reel, a, let's say a 45 second Instagram reel. Okay. And what was option number two, highlighting the Scottsdale lifestyle? Sure. Here's a potential script for a 45 second Instagram reel that highlights the Scottsdale lifestyle and encourages potential home buyers to contact you. And it scripts this as if you had a producer right there with you. In fact, it says, here's the opening shot. So it says, provide an opening shot of McDowell Sonoran Preserve. It then says voiceover. This would be you with that image of this McDowell Sonoran Preserve showing. Welcome to Scottsdale, Arizona, where you can have it all. And then you cut to a shot of Old Town Scottsdale. Enjoy a stroll through the historic district. Play a round of golf on the championship course. Then cut to a shot of a local restaurant. Savor the flavors of a vibrant food scene. Cut to a shot of a local shop. Discover unique treasures at our boutiques and galleries. Cut to a shot of a family playing in a park. And create lasting memories with your family in our parks and playgrounds. Whether you're looking for a starter home, a luxury estate, or something in between, we have the perfect home for you in Scottsdale. So what are you waiting for? Contact me today to start your journey to living the Scottsdale lifestyle. You guys, it just scripted roughly a 45 second Instagram reel. Okay. All right, you guys, let's keep going. Here's what I could say. What would the headline and caption using emojis, I don't know, for this Instagram post? Again, I'm just thinking off the fly here. Headline, live the Scottsdale lifestyle. Welcome to Scottsdale where you can have it all. Okay, here would be the caption for your Instagram post. Okay, even includes emojis and hashtags. You guys, I hope you see the opportunity, the implication with using this to just help you refine whatever it is that you're doing. And this is just option one. You guys, I'm gonna get into blog writing here for a moment. And I'm going to focus on Arizona because that's where I think most of our audience is right now. I'm going to go ahead and type in, I'm going to start a new chat and I'm going to type in, write me a blog post about the five reasons someone should move to Scott, to Scottsdale, Arizona right now. And I could have said, write me a blog post about the five reasons someone should move to Scottsdale, Arizona from Chicago right now, or from Florida right now, or what are five reasons they shouldn't move to Scottsdale, or what, when are the five best times of the year to move, or where in Scottsdale should they move if they have a family, or if they want to be near a dog. Look at this information and it's sharing about this market, Scottsdale. Sunny weather all year round. Scottsdale, Arizona boasts an, on average an average of 299 days of sunshine per year. You guys, I didn't even know that. Over 300 miles of biking and hiking trails. A thriving economy with industries such as healthcare, tourism, and technology. Arts and crafts. Scottsdale Museum of Contemporary Art. Is this pretty incredible? What great information that you could share with somebody. What if you have an out-of-town buyer, somebody looking to relocate, and they're saying, Aaron, why should I move to, should I live in Scottsdale or Phoenix? Or what's the difference between Scottsdale and Paradise Valley? Why would I want to live in Scottsdale versus Paradise Valley? Again, this is tapping into the knowledge of humanity for the response. 
Okay. And again, we can take this information and we can have them script video for us. Have us, ex they can expand and write a blog post. They could write a 10 word article headline. Okay. So just some examples. This is writing, right? And here's what I would say this, these are outlines. I would never copy and paste and drop this into, into an email and send this or post it right to my website verbatim, right? You could, but I don't think I would. But here's what, let's say that you could say, hey, what are the keywords? What are the top 10 keywords from this? How can you search, optimize this for search engine, right? Rewrite this using a humorous tone, I think I wrote that correctly, humorous tone and include several jokes. Guys, again, the implication is limitless. Somebody just made me laugh though. Sandy said, hey, we won't have to think anymore. Here's the thing, you guys, you still have to think to prompt. It's just like Google, right? Google is the gateway to the internet. You still have to know what you're searching for to use Google effectively. With ChatGPT, you still have to know what the desired outcome is in order to use ChatGPT effectively. And again, the information it's sharing is not the final product. It's a starting point. It's a first draft. We still want to infuse our personalities into it. We still want to infuse our experiences, our knowledge. We still want to infuse it with empathy, okay? because that's something that AI is still struggling to do. But look at what it just came up with, right? It's using a humorous tone. It's calling people partner. It says, we got Paradise Valley, the Beverly Hills of Arizona. It's the, where the rich and famous come to play, but don't let that intimidate you, cowboy, All right? Let's mosey on over to Scottsdale, the city that never sleeps unless it's too hot outside. They say it's a dry heat, but when it gets up to 120 degrees, it's like being inside of an oven. I think there's some truth to that, you guys. How interesting is that? We could then say, hey, script this for me. We could say, right, so again, incredible options. Let's keep moving forward. Let's dive into listing descriptions. Okay, actually here, let me just finish this off. Maybe this is something we wanna turn into a video. I'm gonna say now turn this into a YouTube script, or I could then say, provide an eye-catching video headline, write a 500 character video description, provide 20 keywords for SEO, turn this blog post into a Facebook ad, provide a headline and add copy with emojis. Also suggest a visual to represent the, let me grab this. Copy that, copy, come down here, paste. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Lon, you can ask AI for video scripts. You can have it build websites. You can have it build software. It can create apps that you can add to the app store right now on Amazon. The fastest growing section of Amazon are books that were written using AI and chat GPT. Look at this headline. Look at the ad you could create. It tells you what visual to use. Okay, guys, we're going to shift gears. We're going to get into listing descriptions. Who loves writing listing descriptions? If I see a hand go up, you got, you're out of the chat. Oh, Ashley, I knew it. I knew it. You just, you're a troublemaker. You guys check this out. Write a listing description for a home in luxurious Paradise Valley, four bed, three bath. Nobody write, likes listing descriptions. Michelle Wilkerson. Okay. All right. That's ridiculous, you guys. So I said, hey, I, I know some vital information about a property. I just know that it's got four bed, three bath, 2,300 square feet. It's close to schools. It has an updated kitchen, new roof and updated bathrooms. Write a listing description for me. Look at this listing description, you guys. <clears throat> Again, this is a starting point for you. And by the way, if you can ask it to write a listing description, you can ask it to write anything. Okay, there's the listing description. You could say, that's too long. Can you shorten that to 500 characters? Or how about this? Can you rewrite it 
into something more creative in under 500 characters. Okay. Would you rewrite this in the tone of a 43-year-old man and a 62-year-old man? Would you rewrite this so that it is appealing to somebody coming from a cold climate? There's the rewrite with more creativity in under 500 characters. There you go. And limit to 800 characters for armless. Thanks, Christy. Yep. Okay. Now we could say, you know what? How about this? How about maybe we want to email this property out? We want to blast it. How about we turn it into an enticing email? You guys, it literally scripts the email out for us. Like I said, I'm a real estate coach. I get to work with a lot of people all over the country. And a lot of questions they ask me, I'm afraid to say it, but I could use chat GPT to answer those questions. Aaron, what's the best real estate CRM to use? Aaron, should I be using TikTok or Instagram? Aaron, should I even use social media at all? But most of the facts, most of the facts are wrong about the property. Mark, great point. Mark said that some of the facts about the property are wrong. So that's where we come in here and ensure that we proof this before it ever sees the light of day. Okay. It looks like it got the four bed, three bath, correct? New roof, updated bathrooms, top rated schools. Okay. Where was this when I was in school? Yeah, I'm not sure where the, again, I don't see wrong facts here. There probably are some. Keep in mind, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. You guys check this out though. We just turned that into an enticing email. Rewrite in the tone of, you guys, who? Clark Griswold. Who knows who Clark Griswold is? Everyone does, right? Clark Griswold as if he's writing this email. Okay. Okay. Let's keep moving forward. We can turn it into an Instagram caption, into a video voiceover. We can, all right, look at this. So let's make like Eddie in the RV and hit the road to check out this slice of heaven. Cheers, Clarkers. Copy this, pop it in an email. Again, don't send it out until we've gone through it. You guys, so that's listing descriptions. Let's go with prospecting. And I'm going to start with something very basic. Let's start a new chat. And I'm going to simply say, how can I prospect for home buyers in today's market? Okay, again, I like to start 50,000 foot view, and then we can always drill down. Let's just see what some of the strategies it gives us are with regards to prospecting. So here's some basic strategies, leverage online tools and social media, network with other real estate professionals, host open houses, send direct mail. Okay, so things we already know. Okay, but what you can do though, is you can then say, hey, can we take number one and will you put a social media plan in place? Create a social, so using item number one, plan out or write out a social media, a weekly social media posting plan for me as a realtor. Sure, here's an example of a weekly social media posting plan for a realtor. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Gabriel said, you can use it to draft a response in multiple languages and it will. Absolutely. So all we have to do is we just have to simply say, so it, by the way, it's just put together a full full plan, you could say, actually, can you put that plan 
in a spreadsheet format. You guys, is this like something else? Yeah, this is just the beginning. I'm just, it's again, just observe. Okay, this isn't coming for our jobs. You guys, nobody's getting our jobs unless we give them away, unless we give them away, okay? Unless we try to automate ourselves right out of our job. If we continue to focus on the human interactions, you guys, let's let Chad GPT put together plans and strategies and come up with content ideas for us. Why not? I'd rather spend time hobnobbing, networking, like meeting people, going on listing presentations, showing properties to buyers. You know what I mean? That's my, that, that's where the action happens. Let's use these systems to do the stuff that like is low value activities for us. If you're worth $200 an hour, why are we spending an hour trying to put together the caption for an Instagram post? You just spent $200 come up with a caption. Use a tool like this. Okay. But you guys, pr pretty neat. Oh yeah. So how about this? Yeah. Again, you can do rewrite in Spanish. Rewrite. In fact, let's just ask ChatGPT, what languages can I rewrite this in? And I'm going to say natural languages because it also knows programming languages. So I'm just going to say... What natural languages can I rewrite this in? So it may even start, I'm going to say, what natural languages do you understand? And by the way, you can just start asking chat GPT how to use it, by the way, if you want. But look at the languages that it understands. That can translate. And what I'm finding is that it's in 95 to 98% accuracy. Okay, this is just a sample. English, Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Italian. You guys, 95 natural languages and counting. 12 programming languages and counting. You guys, let's keep moving forward. Let's get into, we talked about how can I prospect. Um, how about this? Let's get into, let's on the topic of prospecting. Please write a script for cold calling expired homes. Ring, ring. <laughs> yes, who's calling? Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm your local real estate agent. I noticed your home was recently listed on the market, but I see that the listing has since expired. I was wondering if you're still interested in selling your home. We're not sure yet. We're considering our options. I completely understand. May I ask you why you think your home didn't sell during the previous listing? I see. We'd love to help you sell your home and get the best possible outcome based on what you've shared, right? This is actually not bad, is it? You guys, here's where I think there's a lot of value here, prospecting. And if you think that real estate doesn't include some level of sales, right? I think we need to reevaluate this business. And what is sales? Sales is understanding people. Sales is emotional intelligence. It's mirroring. It's body language. It's understanding personalities. Okay. Let me share with you something that I've recently done. You guys, I pulled up and Al, since I can see you right now, I'm going to pull up, I'm going to search for you. Okay. I'm going off script. I've gone rogue. Okay. Al Batson. Al, is this you right here, sir? Okay. Here's Al's bio on realtor.com. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take his bio. In fact, I'm going to grab all of it. I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to go back over to chat GPT and I'm going to come here. I'm going to say, what are the person, what is the personality type of this person's bio? I'm going to put a colon. I'm going to paste your entire bio there. Based on provided personal professional introduction, the personality type of this person's bio appears to be outgoing, personable, friendly, and hardworking. They enjoy spending time with friends and family and have a range of interests and hobbies such as travel, cooking, and theater. 
They also have a strong work ethic and a broad range of professional experience, including operations management, real estate, and home management, which they bring to their real estate business. They seem to be a good listener, able to understand their clients' needs and serve them better. Their mission statement also reflects their positive, enthusiastic attitude towards life, people, and real estate. Overall, the personality type of this person's bio appears to be outgoing, experienced, and dedicated to providing excellent service to their clients. Al, is that accurate? Al's, Al's over there clapping his hands, by the way. How Microsoft has been developing their oh, own here's, software. Here's, here's what I would say. Imagine if Al was a potential seller. Script and using the information above about about this person. Write an influential email that would cause this person to list their home with me. Alan Jean Batson. Dear Alan Jean Batson, I hope this email finds you well. My name is Blank and I'm your local real estate agent who's been helping homeowners in Desert Ridge area. So as a Midwest transplant, I know the unique challenges and opportunities that come with selling a home in Arizona. You guys, it is taking into account who he is and scripting an influential email that's going to cause them to want to list their home with you. Again, this isn't the final product, but wow, is this impressive. This taps into the personality traits that are out. Again, I know we're going a little off script here, you guys. The power that we have with this is absolutely incredible. Microsoft just invested $10 billion into OpenAI just last month, right? Because Microsoft wants to power every bit of software that they have with this technology. You're going to see this in Microsoft Office, in Word, Excel. In fact, you're no longer going to need to know formulas in Excel. You can just tell Excel, hey, can you make this spreadsheet look good? Add some graphs, organize it in this way, and it's going to do it, okay? Word, how about with Word? Imagine this was the beginning of a new Word document, and you just said, man, what am I going to write in Word? I want to, God, you know what? I want to write a meal plan for four, for four that is protein rich. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, the Word document just lists out, a full meal plan for four that's protein rich, right? And then we could say, actually, can you put in a spreadsheet format? No, actually, I'm going to say stop generating. Hey, can you hey, provide me a shopping list of these meals, of these meals, of these meals, right? And now it's going to provide a shopping list of all the ingredients you're going to need for those meals. So you can just now take this right to the store. Okay. And again, I know we're getting sidetracked, you guys. I want to stay on the real estate topic, but the implications are absolutely mind-blowing. We could have said, please write a script for cold calling fizz for sale by owners. We could say, hey, a homeowner just emailed me. Here's the email and they want to pull their listing from me. Can you write a persuasive email to them that will cause them to want to renew their listing with me? We can get into other things like, I'm going to start a new chat, guys. I know where time is, time flies and we're having fun, right? I'm going to say, hey, what are four things home sellers should know prior to selling their home? How about you guys, let's do something fun before we, we finish here. I'm going to stop generating. Okay. You guys, market reports. Who likes market reports? We all should, right? Because that's our area especially. I'm going to get into Altos Research for a market report here. And let's pull a market report for, let's pull one for Scottsdale, Arizona. Scottsdale, Arizona. Okay. I love this platform. So here's what's happening in Scottsdale, Arizona right now. Aver median list price is 1.3, right? Dollar per square foot, 968 homes on market, et cetera. Here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to do this. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over to chat GPT and I'm going to say, write a market report email using the following data for Scottsdale, Arizona. Let's see if this works, you guys. Who knows? Look what I just dropped in there. Just a bunch of gibberish. 
All right. Scottsdale Market Report, February 2020, February 22nd. Dear value clients, as your trusted real estate advisor, I want to share with you the latest market report for Scottsdale, Arizona, according to the latest data. Median list price is 1.3. That looks right. In terms of inventory, there are 968 homes on the market. That looks right. Median days on market, 63, which is relatively low compared to the average days on the market of 92. The median price of new listings is 1.2. Median rent is 6,000. How about this? Okay, so that's an email you could send to your database. You could have done that for all of Maricopa County or whatever county you're in. How about this? Make it a fun newsletter written in a witty and upbeat tone. Write a Facebook post for this. Write a 60-second video script for this. Okay. So again, you guys, ideas, you're observing what's possible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop generating. Okay, let's do this. How about this one? Let's start a new chat. Who understands the importance of reviews, right? Social proof. How about this one? Write a script to use during a cold calling session to homeowners about potentially. No, let's do this. Let's go write a script, write it, write an email that will cause a cause my clients to want to review me on my Google on Google and Yelp. Okay. All right. And then you guys, I'm going to finish it off with a really cool campaign here. Okay. So there's the subject line, dear client, hope this finds you well, right? As a valuable client, your experience matters a lot to us. Would you please be so kind to review us on Google and Yelp? And then obviously you'd add your Google and Yelp links there, but here's the script you could work from there. And then of course, rewrite this in Spanish for those Spanish speakers or any of the 95 languages that it understands. Okay. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and click stop generating. Okay. Check this out. This is from my buddy, Jeff Bernheisel at Breakthrough Broker. He wants to come up with a first time home buyer campaign. So he's going to start with, Hey, I'm a realtor and I'm thinking about doing a first time home buyer seminar, what should I do? Okay, this is a starting point. As a realtor conducting a first time home buyer seminar could be a great way to educate clients, define your audience, identify who you want to attend, choose a venue. Okay, set a date and time. So it almost plans it for you. Now, here's how we can take that prompt to the next level. Okay. So define your audience, choose a venue, set a date and time, plan your content, promote your seminar, host the seminar. Wow. It's planning out our home buyer seminar follow up. Okay. So this was our prompt. How can we take that to the next level? You guys, this is super advanced. See this on the replay, but here's what I'm going to write. I'm going to say, I want you to act as an advertiser and marketer. You will create a campaign to promote a product or service of your choice. You will choose a target audience with demographics of a typical first-time buyer, develop key messages and slogans, select the media channels for promotion, and decide any additional media activities needed to reach goals. My first re suggested request is, I need help creating an advertising campaign for a real estate agent that teaches first time home buyer classes to people looking to buy a home in Scottsdale, Arizona in 2023, right? Now that's obviously an advanced prompt. And in fact, Jeff, who created this prompt, it took him about two days to come up with this prompt. But what this is going to do is this is going to act as an advertiser and marketer, and it's going to analyze the information we just shared, and it's now going to deliver really valuable information. In fact, information that you would pay a, an advertising agency probably five to $10,000 for, okay? It's identifying a target audience. 
It's identifying key messages. It's coming up with a slogan. It's telling you the media channels to pursue with promoting your event, social media, Google ads, direct mail, event sponsorships. It's mentioning additional media activities. You guys, and I know we're almost out of time, but check this out. I could now say, now give me webinar ideas that would attract that target audience. <clears throat> give me an outline for a 60 minute webinar for number one. Can you write me six clickbait style promotional headlines for the outline you just created? And guys, guess what? We could then use a service like Slides, as that's going, slidesai.io. Have you guys seen this? You could take your content from ChatGPT, you can paste it into this system, and literally within the click of a button, copy and paste, it will create a PowerPoint presentation for you. In any presentation type or style with however many number of slides, Literally in seconds, slidesai.io, slidesai.io, and there's an instantly generated presentation, okay? So we just said, what are some webinar ideas? We could say, can you give me an outline for a 60-minute webinar for webinar number three? Can you write a persuasive Facebook post to announce this webinar and use headline number three? Now rewrite that in a more casual way and sprinkle in common English slang and add some emojis. You guys, again, mind-boggling. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to jump back. I've got a download for you guys. Uh, we covered a lot of ground today. Either you're like, Aaron, this is insanely cool or the bots are gonna take over. You guys pull out your phone, scan this. You're not gonna get, you're not added to a list. I don't get your phone number or email address. It simply gets you access to this link, which is a guide for prompts. It's a prompt guide for using ChatGPT for real estate, okay? So point your camera there, scan that you guys. It'll also be available in the replay. I do five, four, three, two, one. And if this is something of value, if you got value out of today's session, let the person that invited. And in closing, you guys, here's what I would say. This is not going to replace you. I love that somebody mentioned, what was that quote? Technology will not replace realtors, but realtors will with technology will replace realtors without JG. I like that quote. This technology will further create division amongst us in the sense that it will separate us from others. It's going to cause some agents to really start to excel exponentially. Be one of those agents, you guys. Be one of those agents. Thank you so much for jumping on today. Would you please connect with me on Instagram? And then of course, thank the person that invited you to this session. I really appreciate everybody jumping on today and investing in your future and your business, you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm Aaron Lacey, and I look forward to our next webinar, you guys. Stay tuned. Take care.